star. Let me take you back 170 years ago to the top of the Mount Angeles Mountains. In the dead of winter of 1846, the Bonner Party had set out for the shores of the western coastline. Packed with nothing more than a week's ration of food and a dream for a better life, the Bonner Party stood no chance of survival. They gave up quick and decided to settle in the tame suburban valley of Echo Creek. But one last challenge lay between them and their American dream, possums. To stake their claim to the land, the Bonner Party went to war. Man and possum fought, biting one another with force and vigor. A letter from Timothy Bonner. My dearest Rebecca, I hate the possums. I hate the possums so much. My rage for them is all I can think about. They scratch and bite like the demons in fairy tales. I can no longer love you. I can only hate the possums. After 26 days of miserable war, Otis, the very last possum, was sent scurrying into the forest. The Bonner's land was now possum-free. They built a statue of Otis to commemorate the first victory of their small town. But it was the last time Echo Creek won anything. Football players kiss it before games. Teachers make offerings to it. Others just stare and wonder, what's a possum? Otis has come to represent Echo Creek's history. And without it, <coughs> we don't know who we are. Oh, I know that feeling. Remember when I lost the Book of Spells? Yep. I went a bit crazy. You kept calling me Glossaric. You tried to shove me in a book. <laughs>